Well, we often have small wildfires up here. When the smoke was seen over Cook Peak, and we were a little concerned. Uh, we've had fires come over that way before, but mm -hmm. the fire breaks stopped. And when that thing came over, it wasn't like any other fire that we had up here. It had its own almost evil personality. I mean, it was out to kill. Mm -hmm. I could see those flames just roaring down the hill, and I knew it was over for the house. I'm Daryl Galatano, Lake Isabella. I'm Linnea Galatano, and we're sitting right next to our house in Watching in it Squirrel, being Valley, built. <laughs> Squirrel Valley, California. Yeah. community came together with uh, support for all those that lost their homes. It really took a lot of the anxiety and the frustration away yeah. when you saw all the, the neighbors and the organizations that were pooling together to help. Since the fire, it's been uh, almost two and a half over, years. Yeah, almost two and a half years. My role, I'm a disaster case manager working with the Erskine Fire survivors. I've been involved actually in the recovery process since November 2016. That's when I came on board as a volunteer case manager. It makes you look at life differently from a different perspective because you may be thinking you're having it bad, but there's someone out there that lost their entire life savings. I love MDS and being faith-based and how there's people from all over the country that are here currently taking some couple weeks away from their home to be out here and help a stranger that they don't even know. It's, it's an amazing feeling and I look up to everyone here. Wow, <laughs> that's all I can say. It's just once they started, wow. <laughs> Very excited. I didn't think this would ever happen. I actually thought the fire wiped us out and that we were destined to leave the area, go somewhere else. But uh, thanks to the Mennonite Disaster Service, I'm looking forward to sleeping in my own house again instead of a rental trailer. The hope, the momentum that we have going on, we're building a home right here now, but then at the same time, a little overwhelming. I'm not in my home yet, why is it taking them so long? But there's a process to everything. But now, thankfully, we're at the start of building our first rebuild, and it's just the beginning of something amazing, and it's the beginning of this community's recovery. The warmth from this group is, I've never seen anything like it. No, no thank I, you. <laughs> that big yeah. thank you, right? That's about it, yeah.